Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. I think we've got all of the uh, tingle statues that we've missed so far, probably, hopefully. I can't guarantee, but anyway, it's time to figure out where I'm going from here, because I don't know. Um, I'm here now. I can probably swim back over to the shore over there. Maybe. Actually, no, it's going down a lot faster than it looks. Oh my goodness. Quick, hurry, hurry, hurry. Swim, 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 swim. I don't know if I'm going to make it back, but it's okay because it's probably going to respawn me at the boat. I would assume so, at the very least. If it doesn't, that would be, that'd be weird. But anyway. Link's going under. Oh, there he goes. And yep, I'm on the boat. Cool. Well, that works out somewhat. Now, where do I want to go? <laughs> I guess I can actually continue with the actual thing that we're supposed to be doing, so let's use the Ballad of Gales. Although there's one other thing I guess I could do now. Um, let's go to Windfall Island. Yes. Actually, I should have gone to Tingle Island. Never mind, it's fine. I have to do stuff anyway at some point, so... But this is fine because I I can still get to where I need to go from here, so. Let's just set sail at full speed. In this direction? No, more like that direction. I can angle's good. I can see the compass on the screen. I know what I'm doing. Man, it's so nice being able to sail this fast. It's so nice. And not have to change the wind direction is also really good. I'm kind of tempted to pick up that glowing spot, but I probably shouldn't. Oh, hey. I should probably get that, though, because I need to get all of the mark the spots on the map filled in at some point. So let's get this fish here. Hey, this is a glowing spot. There's a treasure to pick up, so I should probably do that as well. Hoy, small fry. And we get a map for Spectacle Island. Beware the night when the crescent moon faces up. That's all I can tell you, small fry. Cool. Means that the ghost ship comes past here at some point. But anyway, let's go get this glowing spot as best I can as I can. And get that. Treasure. I don't know what it is, but it's gonna be good probably. Even if it's just rupees, that's still really good, so. Silver rupee worth 200 rupees, cool. And now let's have a look at the actual island itself. And actually, I believe, if I'm not wrong, there's a blue chew here, so let's grab that. How many of those do we have now? We have four. That's a pretty good amount. I'm pretty sure there are only ten. But still, we have to find them all. Now, west, head west from here to reach Mother and Child Isles. Cool, okay. We'll have to do that. I'm guessing this is to Northern Ferry Island. Yep. Um, there's a pot back here with a blue rupee in it. Oh, I'm down here. How did I manage that? I don't know. I'm just clever, I guess. But anyway, let's actually get to the top of this island here so I can actually do a little mini game. Let's hop up and look who it is! Ah. Oh, never mind, my mistake. Yeah, yeah, step right up. If you have uh, confidence in your target shooting, why don't you give this a shot? It's 50 rupees per game. Want to try? You bet. All right, now then. Um, ahem. <clears throat> oh ho ho. So you're the little uh, shrimp who thinks he's a target shooting sh hot shot, yeah? And you say this knowing full well that we are pirates who are so frightening that crying babies shut their mouths when we step into the room. 
Ha, huh, this should be funny. Fine then, headshot. If you can manage to sink the five pirate ships, then uh, you see off on the horizon. We'll acknowledge your skills with a cannon. With a cannon, you shrimpy, sh shrimpy little landlubber. However, we don't, we won't tolerate any comments about how the pirate ships look like barrels, and you only get ten shots. You heard me. If you can move, you you can move your cannon with the left stick and fire it with A. Watch. Uh, the water plumes carefully when you fire, yeah? You got it, shrimp? I got it. If you manage to sink all five pirate ships, we'll give you all the treasure we've stolen up until now. Good luck to you, shrimp. You all need it. Yeah. So we need to fire at these ships. We can see the degrees angle on the bottom. Oh bottom right of the screen, so we can actually kind of figure out if we're too high or too low to hit the targets. I'm not doing very well right now, apparently. I'm doing really bad right now. Oh my goodness! Please, 20 degrees. Okay, that's one out of five. And I've already spent most of my ammo. Okay, two. I have to get these ones perfect. 36. Oh no. Maybe this one's 36? Yes, okay. <laughs> I still have a chance. Not much of a chance, but it's a chance. 30 degrees, maybe? Please? Okay, <laughs> last one. Surely 45 degrees. Surely. 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 Got it. That was just far too close for comfort. Psh, wow, nice shooting. But we won't ha hand over our priceless treasure so easily, yeah? Miss. Hey, miss. Gonzo, you're at, la <laughs> at least an, honorably mem an honorary member, member of my family, are you not? So act like it. Don't lose your head. You're a talented little kid. I like you. As we promised, here's our treasure. It's yours, so take it. Got a piece of heart. Alright, nice job and all that. You can leave by the ladder behind you. Climb down and in an orderly manner, if you please. I'm gonna play this game again because I think there's a second reward. Eh? It's 50 rupees per game. Wanna try? Yes, I do. Okay. They look like they're further away, probably. So let's do... a 45 degree start. Way too high, oh my goodness. I'm bad at this, apparently. Maybe we should start with the furthest away ones first. This is not good. Okay, that one's 45. 39? Maybe? Yes. I feel like that one's also the same amount of distance away, maybe. If I'm not wrong. Nope, it is a little bit further away. 43? Okay, two more to go, and I have four shots left. Uh, 35. Please. Oh no. 30. Okay, two shots left on the last one. I've... Got this... 23. Okay, it's just 25. I wasn't sure if it was more or less, but I got it, so it's okay. I'm apparently really bad at the minigame, but I'm still man managing to get through. Psh, wait a second! Miss, miss, miss! What do you want? Don't you know how to keep quiet, you scurvy dog? Oh, I was just wondering who was out there, out here. And look who it is, it's you again. Look at you and that adorably cute face of yours. I can't help but give you away her treasure to you. It's yours, so take it. We got a treasure chart. Cool. I think that's everything from that. Okay, um, let's see what that treasure chart is gonna do for us. That's interesting, okay. I know exactly which island that is for, though. 
which is weird. I'm probably gonna get a lot of these other trade charts at some other point in time, but anyway, for now, let's sail on to Mother and Child Isle. Isles. Which are right over here, especially when we're sailing this fast. I need fish. Where's fish? Over that way. I don't think there's anything much we can actually do at this aisle. But there is a shriveled tree. But also, I believe, if I go up here somewhere, is a blue tree. So let's grab that. Cool. Let's get the other thing for this place as well. So the Y. Okay. Just need to sail a bit slowly so I can make sure I get this. And there we go. Hoist more fry. Mother and Child Isles. They say that inside the ring of rock that makes up the perimeter of that island, there lives an incredibly beautiful fairy. But the thing is, nobody ever met her. Supposedly, the only way you'll ever meet her is to ride, take a ride on a whirlwind and drop inside that rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't sound easy, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Cool. So yeah, we can't actually get inside the island or onto this bigger island at all because there's no way into it so only way to get into it is to use the Ballad of Gales and go to Mother and Child Isles Here we are on the inside now. Hehehe, <laughs> tell me, little boy, can you control the wind? Hehe, <laughs> so young, to have such power, how did you find... How did you know to find me here? I am the queen of the fairy world. What does it matter, my... Ch what, what is the matter, my child? Does that not surprise you, young one? I like you. And so I shall give you... Give new power to the bow that you wield. The powers of fire and ice have been added to your arrows. When you take out your bow, use ZR to change arrowheads and then fire away or ice away. Ice arrows can freeze the hottest flames and fire arrows can melt the coldest ice. The fairies in this fountain will ease your weariness. Use them as you need to. Child. I must tell you, you are just my type, Tihihi.
Okay, then we'll have access to this fairy fountain whenever we need to, so we can get more fairies if we want to. Ah, uh, but the only way out is also to use the Ballad of Gales again, so let's do that. And let's go... Hmm... Let's go to... A gate... I guess go from Dragon Roost to where we need to go. Seems like a plan, so let's do that. Wee! That was quite a flight. But anyway, now let's uh, head to. I think it's just Fire Fire Mountain in the south. If I know what I'm doing, hopefully I know what I'm doing. Uh, let's also get rid of that, and let's put something onto our Y button so it's not. Bait, because I don't need the bait at the moment. There's also a fairy fountain somewhere that I haven't done on the far east of the world, so I should probably keep an eye out for that if I can. But anyway, here's Fire Mountain. <laughs> Blasting at full power. Uh, but we want to get a little bit closer. We can't actually get that much closer because the the, the heat of the water is pushing us away, I guess. Kind of? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, hello. Uh, I can't really... Hang on. Oh, I missed. That's okay. Um, let's just... Bring out our bow. Switch to ice arrows. And shoot at the lava spire at the top. Okay, so we've stopped the lava flow for just a little bit, which means we can actually get onto the island, but we have four, five minutes to actually get in there and out of there, pretty much. So we need to go fast, otherwise the lava's just going to come back out and we're going to be in trouble because we're going to be inside the volcano in a second. Okay, uh, no, this way. There's also this thing that's trying to make things difficult. Let me freeze you. We should get rid of him. Hopefully. Okay. Freezing enemies is actually fairly good because they break apart very easily. Somewhat. Oh boy. Just sidle across, please. Four minutes left. I'm probably gonna be fine. Probably, hopefully. I don't know. I need to really run. Okay. Oh my goodness, he's spinning! I'll get up there, Link. And in the volcano. Three minutes, 54 seconds left. Okay, we have some fire keys that we need to take out, if we can. Easier said than done, apparently. Can you please... Thank you. Grappling hook will just hit them directly, apparently. Which is good for us. We can go across the lava... here. Okay, get rid of you. I'm so glad that that just homes in perfectly. We need to go across here, and now we have these things to take care of. So let's do that as quickly as possible. And I think we're actually fairly good. We've got plenty of time. That's fine, just need to get rid of you, and... A chest appears. And inside that chest is... The power bracelets. Both arms are now stronger than ever. Press A to grab and lift objects. So there we go. We can do that now. Once you get the chest open, the timer stops and you it won't ever come back. So the lava should be gone for good now. I'm pretty sure at least, so... We can just get out of here normally. We can also lift up that huge statue now. With our bare hands, because we're super strong now. Because we have the power bracelets. Um, can I please get you so I can get a gold feather? Oh boy. Oh boy. I might just have to go down. Okay, there we go. 
Let me get you, please. There we go. And now we can get out of here. There's one other place I want to stop off. Actually, a few other places I want to stop off first. Before we were completely done here. So let's go. All the way down to either Southern Fairy Island or Forest Haven. Not the easiest place to go to, to get to where we need to go next. I should probably check, I should have checked that lookout. Anyway, it's fine. And now we want to go to the west, but also I can see that mailbox is dancing. Let me sail over to the island quickly to check that. Instead of just swimming over to it, because that seems like a really bad idea. This is probably related to the uh, letter from Mum. Good evening, letters for Link. We have two letters. Okay, interesting. Here we go. How have you been, big brother? I'm here on the pirate ship, wait, uh, writing you. Ah, uh, this letter. Isn't that neat? At first, I was really scared, but they're all actually nice. For pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo is really a really big guy, but ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad too. Nudge is a little strange, but nice, too. As for Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean, but he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuko's kind of weird, and Ma 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 Mako is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses. So I do that a lot, t he he he. As usual, Nico is always fooling around. He won't take anything serious. Actually, he seems sad not to have you around anymore. Were you guys good friends? I helped them all with their chores. And they actually paid me a little for it. So I'm sending the money to you. Please use it, bro big brother. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so don't you worry. I'll take care of myself, so you be sure to take good care of yourself. Good luck, Errol. Get a 20 rupees from a red rupee. Here is my other letter. To my son's superior. Thank you very much for looking after my boy. This isn't much, but I hope you'll accept it all the same. I politely request your continued kindness towards my son. Ah, uh, Kashiro. Shiko. Beto's mother. We got a piece of heart. Very nice. But anyway, now that we've got all that, let's head to the direction east. West, west, west. I know my directions. We need to go to that island right there on the horizon. So let's go ahead and do that. It won't be long. But the good thing about this island is it actually has a glowing spot for us to go because we have the treasure chart for it. So we need to do that as well. And I will also need to use some bait. So I'm going to put that on the R button, since I'm less likely to press that one by accident. Now, where's the treasure? Where's the treasure? Also, I need to get the fish. So I'll do that as well. Oh my goodness, cannon, cannon boat. That's not good. I mean, it's I'm sure it's fine, but also cannon boat. They can be slightly annoying sometimes. Oi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about this island. Ice Ring Isle. There's this amazing treasure inside that freezing ring of ice over there. But even if you wanted, wanted it and tried to get inside, you just be frozen solid as soon as you approach the shore. But if you go four squares north and three squares south, you'll find the power to melt any ice no matter how cold. Search for it, small fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. Cool. 
Let's get this glowing spot then. If I can find it. Ah, bomb. Okay, see if I can salvage fast enough. There we go. Got a silver rupee. Very nice. But anyway, now, let's just get a little bit closer to the island. And let's get out our fire arrows. Shoot one into there. And now this place is no longer covered in the freezing winds. But we have five minutes, seem familiar, to get in there and find the treasure chest before the ice comes back, freezing us, so we'll need to go fast. Also, there's ice physics because this whole thing is ice. So we need to be careful where we... how we move. And if you stop moving in a direction, Abruptly, you'll slide like that. So, it's a time. Okay. Go, 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 go. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Also, you want to have your grappling hook ready just in case. Once we get inside. This reminds me a lot of the ice cavern. Get it, like getting into the ice cavern in Ocarina of Time. With these icebergs. Okay, pretty good. Have a little bit of time left. <laughs> a little bit. We should be good as long as I don't fall and have to make my way back up or anything. Okay, 3 minutes 47 seconds left. Okay, so we need to go across here. But we also. There's a grappling hook stuff down there if you fall so you get back up. We also need to take out the ice keys, I'm pretty sure. Although, just the regular keys, that's what they are. I don't think there are ice keys in this game. So, we need to take care of those, if I can. Actually, no, the chest is just there, so I just, I just need to go. So let's just do that then. Please don't slide off. Please don't slide off. Please don't slide off! Okay. Ice physics. Fun stuff. Anyway, let's open up this chest and the timer stopped. And of course we get... The Iron Boots. These boots are so heavy you can hardly walk, but the wind can't blow you around when you, when you wear them. So there we go. Now we can equip those. Because that's an actual equipable item, so let's set that to R now. And let's go into this little hole over here. Because we can wear the iron boots and we won't get pushed around by the by the wind there. But anyway, let's unfreeze this moblin. And take his skull necklace because we're going to need those. I could also set him on fire. Or freeze him if I want to. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's grab his money that he's dropped for me. Also, using the fire and ice arrows uses magic, so you need to be careful about that. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's just unfreeze this moblin. Gonna steal that from you. I probably shouldn't use my arrows on him. My, my special arrows on him, just so I can save magic, so... Let's do that. Nice and easy. Please drop magic. Nope, just rupees. I think the pots in here might drop magic, possibly. I hope so. Nope, that's just money. Cool. Uh, but anyway, this ice thing over here has two uh, bokoblins in it. So let's take that, and let's take that, and let's just absolutely destroy you. Wow. Um, no extra items. But let's unfreeze this Dark Nut, which is a different color and I think slightly stronger, maybe. It's the same as regular... Dark Nuts, though. Ow! We just need to take it out. But I guess they got frozen in here. Because they took too long. Can I actually... No, I can't because he's wearing his helmet still. Ow! 
Also, I can also use my my refill thing to refill my magic, so I can do that. I also think it recovers health? Yes, it does. That's actually pretty good, but also, I, yeah, I need need other stuff. Take off that, and um, let's just grab that now. And you're done, please. Not quite. No, he is. Never mind. I'm just crazy. But anyway, for defeating all the enemies in this room, another chest appears. So that's pretty cool. Let's just pop that open. Okay. Please open the chest. Thank you. And we get an orange rupee. Face is beaming. That'll be good for our uh, money count so we can buy the stuff from that special tingle be beetle shop. Not tingle. But anyway. Apparently that one also, that thing of light also takes us out of the thing instead of the other beam of light. Which is quite nice actually because it means we're out a lot faster than we would be otherwise. Oh no, I fell in the water. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, hello gunship. It's just aiming right at me. And, and they're pretty big as well. Okay, well anyway, let's get this other treasure chest right here. Before we leave. Let's grab that. Now, if this is a trade chart, I'm a little bit concerned, I and I have a reason why. So let's just... Oh, please. Oh, please, 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 please. Ah. Uh, okay, which one is it? It's number... 36? Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I was a little bit concerned it was going to be for the fire island, but anyway, it's fine now. Let's find our boat, which should be over this way. Yep. I don't know why they put it over this way. I guess it's because it's next to the rest of the stuff, but anyway. Let's just get aboard that. And we have a quite a good number of stuff for us now. But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.